So I finally did it. After a year of dealing with constant freezing, poor battery life, and that stupid spinning beach ball, I made the upgrade to the MacBook Pro 16 inch. And if you can't tell already, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> First off, I wanted to share the specs of my new MacBook just in case you're curious. So, <clears throat> whoa, gotta get my glasses for this one. It is a 2.3 8 core, 9th generation Intel Core i9 processor. I'm just gonna do simple terms from now on. So basically I got the 2.3 gigahertz i9 eight core processor with the 32 gigs of RAM, the updated graphics card to the eight gigs of memory, and then also the one terabyte of SSD storage. I'm still debating if I should have got the two terabytes, but uh, can't return at being eight, so. This is gonna cover me for all of my laptop content creation needs, everything from photo editing to video editing to the occasional gaming that I'm doing. This is everything I need. So first things first, what is in the box? First, you have your manual, of course, which again, who reads these? Oh, actually, wait. There's actually something that you should get from here, which is the Apple stickers. They come in space gray, so make sure you do. These are useful, so don't just throw it away. So the next thing you have is the power brick, which actually is the same size as the other one, but it carries more of a charge. I'll put up on the screen exactly what the new charge is, but they basically helps to charge the battery a lot faster. And then lastly, we have the USB-C cables, which it's really cool that Apple is starting to do more and more of these. I want the phones to be USB-C, so then basically all I need is one cable to travel around with me. So what's different about this new MacBook Pro compared to the 15-inch model or the 13-inch model, the one that I have? Well, the first thing being the insides, which is basically the specs. So the first thing being that i9 processor, it's one of the fastest processors that Apple has put in one of their laptops. And then also the graphics card. This graphics card basically is supposed to perform 80% faster when it comes to rendering 4K video as well as color grading. So the second thing is the screen size. So this is the 16 inch model. So basically you're gonna have less bezels, 500 nits of brightness, as well as a P3 wide color gamut, which in English just means it's a nicer, brighter display. The third new feature is the updated keyboard. They actually scrapped the scissor keyboard model that they had in previous MacBook Pros, which honestly wasn't the best and they replaced it with the new butterfly keyboard. Editor Noah here made a mistake. They actually updated the butterfly keyboards to the scissor keyboards, which is what they had used in the past. So. Back to edit. It's so great to type on this. Like I actually feel the keys when I'm typing. Just this whole layout has been greatly improved. They added a physical escape key, which is good for software developers, as well as a physical touch ID button. And of course it kept the touch bar, which I'm super excited to try this out on my 13 inch MacBook Pro. I didn't have any of those features. So that's gonna be something fun to play with over the next couple of months. So really gotta see if it can help my workflow. So the fourth new feature is an improved battery life. It has a 100 watt battery, which is the highest capacity battery that Apple has put in their Mac computers, which they basically state that it can go up to 11 hours with moderate use and web browsing, which for video editing and content creation might skew a little bit less, but that's still really good because you get all these upgrades and it still has an hour more battery life compared to the older 15 inch models that are all spec'd out. So that's pretty good. So the sixth and final update that they made to this computer, which I think is honestly really underrated, is this new speakers and internal mic. Basically it's a six speaker system with the internal mic being studio quality, which honestly, that's great. This makes it an amazing media device. In fact, let me play one of the songs for you guys real quick. I mean, come on, that's pretty good. So again, super excited about this upgrade. Um, definitely a lot to get used to, especially with all this real estate coming from a 13 inch model. My wallet definitely feels a little hurt as well, but definitely was a long time coming and I'm super excited that I get to test this out and don't have to worry about you know, my computer freezing or restarting my Final Cut Pro like five times in one hour. So it's just, 
yeah, I'm just super excited. I'm definitely gonna test it out and put a video out in about a month or so, just kind of sharing a real world use experience and also sharing um, how it works with the rest of my Apple products. So question of the day, do you plan on upgrading to the new MacBook Pro 16 inch? If so, what model do you think that you're going to purchase? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to kind of see how many of you guys are interested in buying it. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, go ahead and compile that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you later. You already know, embrace the hype. Woo!